All right, here's my second video on applications of quadratic functions. And so uh, we're going to look at a couple of word problem type situations. It says, um, one campus at a, of a small university has plans to construct a rectangular parking lot on land bordered on one side by a highway. Um, and so here we've got kind of a rough image of it. There's 640 feet of fencing available to fence the other three sides. So it's almost like we're going to leave this side open because it's up to the road, but we want to fence here, here, and here. And it says there's 640 feet of fencing available. Um, let X represent the length of the two parallel sides. And what dimensions would give the maximum area and what will this area be? So if I look at this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to define this length is X and this length is X because this is going to be the same length as this. And I know that all three of these will add up to 640. So I know that this dimension, this third dimension right here is going to be whatever 640 minus the other two sides are, okay? And so basically we want to maximize the area. We want to have these dimensions in a way that when it's enclosed by our 640 feet of fence, we have the most, um, was it parking spots? Yeah, the most parking spots. We want to have the greatest area. So one thing that I know is that area equals length times width. So in this case, that's going to be 640 minus 2x times x. So if I defined basically this down here is the length and this right here is my width, I just do length times width to get my area. So if I have this area right here, I can distribute the x in and then you're going to see that this is really just a quadratic. We have um, our area is equal to 640x minus 2x squared or if I wanted to I could write it as this. I kind of reverse the order of that. Now, there are a few different ways to go about this. What we're basically trying to do is we're trying to maximize this function. This describes a quadratic, if you kind of uh, pardon my rough sketch here. This is going to describe like a quadratic that might look like that. And we're trying to find, okay, what is that maximum value? How do we maximize the area? Because our y coordinate, our y coordinate, is the area while our x coordinate is this length right here okay so kind of erasing that real quick since in my other videos i did this by finding vertex form then i'll go ahead and do that right now so i'm going to factor out a negative two um what would that be minus 320 x and so what we're looking for is we're looking for what number goes here probably going to be a big number. What number goes there that would make this a perfect square trinomial? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here. I'm going to divide my b value by 2 and I get negative 160. But then what you got to do is you got to square that value to find the c value. And what we get is we get a big number. We get 25,600. And so what we got to do is we got to basically subtract that same amount out here so we don't change the value of our function. But you got to be careful because what we didn't really add a 25,600. We added a 25,600 times negative 2. Okay? If I multiply 25,600 times the negative 2 coefficient out here, we really added a negative 51,200. That means we need to add 51,200 to get rid of it. Okay? Now, we're getting closer. I have negative 2 x squared minus 320x, oops, actually, I don't really, I'm just going to rewrite this in um, factored form, and so here's what we find. We find that the um, vertex of our polynomial is, or of our quadratic is hk, meaning the vertex is going to be 160, comma, and the y coordinate is going to be 51, 200. And what this means for us, if that's our h and that's our k, this means h is this x value right here, and k is the area. So basically, by making this length 160, and this length 160, and this being whatever's left over, whatever 640 minus 160 times 2 is, 
That's going to give you the maximum area of this rectangle, and that area is going to be 51,200 square feet. Okay? The basic idea here, you may not want to go this route from here on down, but the basic idea is that you are finding the vertex. Okay? That's what you're doing. You're finding the vertex, and I'm doing it with a process uh, of converting it into vertex form. Let's do another one. We've got very similar situations here. It says a rancher wishes to enclose a rectangular region bordering a river with fencing. Suppose that X represents the length of three parallel pieces of fence, and she has 300 feet of, or excuse me, 600 feet of fencing available. Assume she doesn't need fencing along the river. What's the maximum area that we can enclose? This is very similar to the last problem. So if I label these three parallel sides as X, then that would mean that this third side right here that's not the same would be 600 minus 3X. Okay, it'd be whatever's left over after you fence these three parts. And so then to find the area of this region, it's just going to be length times width. So I'll kind of come up here, and I'll say that area equals length times width. It doesn't really matter which one you consider length and which one you consider width, because we're going to multiply them anyways. So let's call our length x and our width 600 minus 3x. I'm going to distribute to simplify. So we have 600x minus 3x squared, or once I reorder it, negative 3x squared plus 600. Now, this is our quadratic function that describes the area of this rectangle as a function of this length right here. Okay, So if I were to keep going, I'm going to find the vertex. We're trying to maximize this area. Remember, that's equal to our area. And we're going to try to maximize that, so I'm going to try to find the vertex. So I'm going to, once again, factor out my 3. Okay? If you factor out a negative 3, it's kind of like you undistribute that negative 3. And so then the question is, what number goes here to make it a perfect square trinomial? Well, if I divide by 2, I got a negative 100. And if I square that um, negative 100, what we get is 10,000. Okay, Now, we can't just add a 10,000 to our function. That changes the value of it. And so what I have to do is I have to offset it by subtracting the same amount out here. And so what we've got to be careful is this looks like a 10,000, but it's really a 10,000 times negative 3. It's actually a negative 30,000 is what we just added to our function right here. So if I just added a negative 30,000, then that means I need to add 30,000 to offset it. Okay? Now what we've done is we've rewritten our quadratic function. I'm going to, now my, la, my last step to getting into vertex form is to write this little trinomial in its factored form. So negative 3x minus 100 squared plus 30,000. Okay. So we have our h and our k. That would mean that the ordered pair of the vertex is this. With h being the x value, that being this length right here, and then this being our area. And so that's really our solution. It says, if what is the maximum area that can be enclosed? That would be 30,000 square feet, and that area is enclosed whenever this is 100. So that would be 100, that would be 100, that would be 100, and it looks like this would be um, 200, because it would be 600 minus 3 times 100. Um, oh, maybe it would be 300 right there. But uh, yeah, that's how you do that problem. So we wrote our quadratic, we transferred it into vertex form to find that vertex. There are other ways to find that vertex, but in this video I chose to focus on that one. But I think if you can get to here, you're pretty well off. The hard part about these is writing the actual quadratic.